where are we today? Well today we're at Disneyland. Not the one in Paris. Not the one in America. The one in Lincolnshire. Obviously it's the quarter complex Norton Disney. What I'm here for? I'm here on a carp charity social for the Chuff uh, Foundation. Now I'll explain a little bit later in the video about what what the charity is about. Paul organises it. Um, it's been going on for a few years now, and the last one I saw on a YouTube video of Math T UK, and I got in touch with Matt, and I said obviously I'm interested in getting involved. He put me in touch with Paul. Here I am. Took the long drive down this morning, probably about four and a half hours I think it took me. Um, four o'clock start. Got here nice and early. There's 35 anglers. We've got Billy's Lake and they've opened Norton Disney 2 which is over the road. It's not actually in the complex. We were scheduled to fish per petites but it's shut because they're spawning. Now 35 names in the pot. Drew the balls. What number did I get? Number one. Eight. Eighteen. Bit gutted. But as the draw moved further and further forward I had four pegs that I would have liked to have fished. Um, and it came to number 18 and funnily enough the peg was still open so I jumped in peg number one I'll show you the swim map um, and as you can see we're here up where the lodge is and the reason I wanted to be in this corner it's quite shallow it's warm but there is a there's, the wind is blowing directly into this corner and I can't believe no one took it earlier but that'll be <laughs> left to see what happens to see if I catch any fish or not anyway it's Friday now it's around lunchtime I think um, I'm just finishing getting set up I'm going to do some leading around have a look what's in the swim my idea is to fish a couple of solid bags out into open water and then down the margin down the margin I've got a right hand side margin um, I am going to fish single pop up with a couple of spots over the top Nice and simple. Not seen any fish yet. Uh, but as I said, I've only been in the peg for about 40 minutes. I've just got the house up, got the bedding, got everything sorted out. Thought I'd do a little bit of clip for the camera. Got my pod set up. Next job is a bit of housekeeping. Set the rods up and let's get some leading done. So we just had a lead around in the swim. Um, pretty uniform all the way around. There's not much weed. Uh, there's a little, a little gully about, um, about sort of on my border on my left hand side, 12 wraps out, a bit further on it drops about another foot deeper, but into the margin it's pretty shallow, um, from the nice gravel patch over there on the right, it's quite a big gravel patch actually, so there's two solid bags going to go out, I'm going to put one out quite short, about 7 wraps, one a bit further about 13 wraps, and then where the gravel patch is, it's about, I think it's, did I say it? yeah, it's nine and a half wraps. And I've got a marker over by a peg on the other side. Quite a difficult cast because there's high reeds in the bush there. But the plan is two solid bags out into open water and I'm going to pile some bait in on that gravel patch. Not going to put any baits in yet. Um, it's still only, it's not even one o'clock in the afternoon yet. We'll get some bait in. Probably not going to put the rods in until about four o'clock, I think. Um, Still not sending a fish though, which is surprising. <laughs> but yeah, let's see how we get on. So what I've got today is my trusty, trusty method. I've got three kilos of sticky krill and a, a kilo of manila mixed together. This boil is uh, ranging from 16 and 12 mils. They've been drying out for 48 hours. Sticky 
acryl pellets. And I'm going to glug it up with a bit of acryl liquid. Methods that have worked for me in the past. Methods that will catch fish anywhere. So that's what I'm sticking with. I'm going to get a mix up and get some bait out. Morning. Well, today and last night was uh, very slow. Nothing to report on the catch front. Um, I think I found myself in No Carp Corner. As as I said at the beginning, I've got my lines sort of fanned out across across the peg into the corner. I've not had a single beep on an alarm, which I'm fishing with tight lines. So it tells me there's no carp moving in or out of this swim. But I'm here. No choice to move. Um, today the weather's a lot more favourable. Obviously it was very hot yesterday, very sunny. So overcast today, it's a little bit warm. But it's good conditions. Wind's calmed down a bit, but it is still pushing a little bit into this corner. So it may bring them in over the course of the day. Um, Tactics-wise, I feel like the tactics are going to work if there's going to be fish here. So I've got no real reason to change them. So I'm going to I'm going to keep on the two solid bags into openish water. The only thing I'm going to do slightly different is we've got a barbecue at one o'clock, so everything's going to be reeled in. Um, what I'm going to do before the barbecue is I'm going to get the waders on. I'm going to go down the reed line. I can't actually cast down the reed line because it's it sort of cuts back on me. So as I said, I'm going to get the waders on. I'm going to take a bucket down. And I'm going to bait up quite tight to the reeds and then when I come back I'm going to put the waders back on and I'm going to walk the rig down um, just to get it tight in to the bay. Um, I think that might give me a little bit of a better chance if there's any fish patrolling that margin. Then take one of the solid bags a bit further right, more into the bay and then keep one out into open water. A few fish have come out uh, between us. Um, the first fish <laughs> was actually a lad called Dave, uh, he's on ND2, he always seems to catch when he fishes and then the first one on Billy's was another lad called Dave who had a 31 pound 2 ounce, so check this one out, great fish, great angling Dave, uh, I had a good chat with Dave before we actually started and um, he, he fishes quite a few lakes where I used to live um, considering all these chaps are mainly up from the Newcastle area, it's, it's quite a, quite nice to meet someone who, uh, who knew some of the lakes that I fish. So, yeah, cracking angling. Dave, maybe I should have changed my name to Dave because the Dave's a catch him. He's had quite a few actually. He's in peg four, I think he's had about four fish. Uh, just made myself a brew. I've got a new cup with me. I know it's back to front. That was a Father's Day gift. Nothing ever, nothing's been said that's ever more true. Thanks for that, Max. Um, so yeah, barbecue at one o'clock. And then I'm going to give that a try what I said. We'll see how we get on. Got a couple of bags made up for after the barbecue. We've got a little salt squid wafter in there. That one's got a little krill dumbo wafter and the rig I'm going to put on the baited spot Got some stiff boom um, see that there d-rig size 4 hook put a big 20 mil krill boil on there with a little white topper and it's got a little um, mesh bag there with some couple of little 12 mil krill boilies, some krill powder and a few pellets. They're going out after the barbecue. 
Don't worry, it's all right, it's no problem. <laughs> so we're just on the barbecue. Um, it was done by um, Serious Carp Socials. Turn up in a van, got a big drum out. It's brilliant. Loads of kebabs, burgers, wings, uh, sausages, uh, minted lamb. Amazing, great service. Got back in the swim now, just refresh the rods. Two on the spot are baited up before the barbecue, and I've took one down the margin line. Um, looking good to be fair for a bite tonight. It's not as hot as yesterday. Not too much activity though, although I've had a couple of line bites um, about 20 minutes after I put the rods out. It's, I've been out about 45 minutes now. So, I don't know if you can hear that, but I think there's some music festival or something going on over there. There's the music been blaring out for the past couple of hours. Anyway, excited for tonight. Let's hope we can get a fish. Come on. morning uh, it's half five it's been a very quiet night nothing's happened at all um, considering having another hour's kip <laughs> not sure what to do I feel like I'm done Twenty one seven. Twenty one pounds seven. I woke up at half past five, alarms, motionless all night, nothing had happened and I just thought it was just going to be one of them sessions. Um, first light was about 4am, no, no first light bites. I thought, shall I have another hour's sleep? I don't think anything's going to happen. And as that thought went through my head, my left hand rod ripped it off. It was the solid bag with a little krill dumbbell wafter in it, which I put out at 15 wraps. It was on like a plateau, just it's just a raised area. So it's about six foot deep, where around it was about 10 foot. 
I'll just put it on the top of that plateau and it's just been picked up. £21.7. Decent fish. Um, one thing that's pleasing is I spoke to one of the guys who did the barbecue yesterday. Came down into my swim to have a chat. And he was telling me he fishes this place quite a bit. He only lives 10 minutes away. Um, and so there's not many commons in here. So it's nice to get a common. So, anyway. Put a new bag on. Popped it back up to that plateau. Made myself a brew. We've got a few hours left. Let's see if we can square one more. So that's the rig that's done the business. A little three ounce lead and a solid bag. Five inch hook link. A little simple blowback rig. 12 mil sticky krill. Dumbbell wafter. Never lets me down. Can't rate this bait highly enough for any fish. Right, well, start the pack down. It's pretty much me done now. Only about 20 minutes left. Just got one more rod to break down. Uh, we're gonna have a walk up to the lodge. I think it's a bit of a presentation for that biggest fish and most fish caught. What I thought about this place. Love it. Beautiful place to fish. 28 acres on Billy's. There's obviously quite a few other lakes on the complex. I want to come down again and fish Petit's uh, Lake when it's open. Some big fish in there. Um, really want to have a go on there. So I think the next trip may be down to here again and have a bash on that lake. Hope you've enjoyed the video. As always, Give me a thumbs up, comment in the bottom, and if you're feeling really generous, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see you again.